This is the Out of Politics, and this is Ken Gidge, and that is... Dave Robbins, how you doing? Hey, Dave good to Robbins, see you. Hey, how are you? I am good. I did, I did want to tell people, just remember, you vote for Romney. This is what happens. You vote for Romney. Don't forget, Obama, vote for Romney. Well, you yeah, know, you, want to bet, you, you held it last week. You, I, I did. Thank you. I, I want but, the But, chicken. you know, I, I do recall that a successful Republican uh, presidential candidate at one point did talk about, wasn't it a chicken in every pot? There we go. Of course, it's sitting next to Ken's pot, so yes. what can I and, say? Yes, uh, and you're voting for who this year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, well, I guess, uh, well, we're not going to, I don't know where we are. Well, wait a minute. Let me tell you about my illnesses. Oh, have you been because sick? Because I've had illnesses. Remember, uh, I uh, went in, I was, I, I, my breath, I was, had shot of breath, so I went in and they, they took an x-ray of my lungs. Yeah. It looked like a snowstorm. So they said, uh, well, uh, you have other x-rays from before. And I go, yes. And the way they did it, I'm going, oh, God, I'm going to die. I mean, I really, OK. Uh, was, I, I remember. I mean, you, we, was, we, you know, we didn't scary. talk about this on the air. But uh, it's, yeah, it was the last scary. couple of weeks. So I'm up in Concord. And uh, I'm at the you know, Save the Liquor Commission panel. That's how I call it. Do, do they have posters? Are, they, are some of the commissioners on milk bottles or something no, like that? No, not, not, not yet. So okay. let, me, let me finish my oh, cancer, sorry, lung I, cancer I, I thing. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm dying of lung cancer and uh, I get a call. I'm on break like lunch and I'm sitting in a room all alone eating fruit and I'm kind of depressed because I'm going to get the you know, results today regarding do I have lung cancer? I'm scared. I mean, there yeah. was something on yep. my yep. lung. Yep. So I get a call, and she goes, the doctor goes, uh, Mr. Gidget, I got good news for you. I says, this is great. She says, you're fine. We put up the other, you know, the other x-rays we had. You, there's a spot there. It's been there. It hasn't grown. So you're fine. So I don't have lung cancer. I'm, I'm so thrilled. So we finished the meeting at the liquor Commission, the investigating look at commission, which I like to talk about, and I'm driving home, and I'm on Main Street in Concord, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm fat, I shouldn't be doing this, but I want to celebrate, I want to go get a chocolate shake, I deserve it, I don't have lung cancer, I've got to lose weight, I mean, fine, I got all of that, so very nicely going slow down the Main Street, and I stop, the car in front of me, and all of a sudden, bang! Just like that behind me. My head goes like this. <clears throat> my seat breaks, the, the, one of the little things in the seat breaks. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't believe this. And I'm going around my body and I'm thinking, oh, my back, because I had an operation on my back a couple of years ago. And I'm going, oh, no, it hurts. So the guy comes over and he says, are you all right? And I go, no, I'm not all right. You just smashed into my car. So he says, oh, I'm really sorry. It was my fault. I was looking like this. And so I said, oh, OK, you know, all right. So I come home, and the next day I wake up, and my back is killing me. Mm -hmm. Following day, I wake up, it's killing me. So I go in for x-rays again. And I said to the, to the person, the lady, I says, you know, I said, if you weren't married, and I wasn't married, I'd date you. But the only problem is that every time you see me, I'm all screwed up no matter what it is. And I said, now my back, and I got a, a headache, which means like a concussion. And I mean, it's terrible. I don't have lung cancer, so they break my back. So they take the x-rays, and she comes back, and she says, the pins are fine that they had put in, and nothing has moved, and you're all set. Can you get through an airport screening device without setting it off? Yeah. You know what the pins are? They're not steel anymore. OK. No, they showed them to me. They look like this big under, you know, uh, x-rays, but they're only right. about that big. Okay. And they're like rubber, not rubber, or they're... Plastic or something like I that? I don't know what they are. It's... Well, you know, I... I, I so, really... I, hey! Yeah? So, what do you think? I, I think... I'm uh, all set to the next one. You, you are. You are. And you know what you know what really bothers me, though? And, and I, the fact that uh, uh, I paid good money to that guy. Who? And you're still here. You pay good money to to the guy who hits you. The whole idea was oh. to, to get you out of the oh, way so that I could oh. take over the and show. You know, you know, you know what? I feel bad for the guy because he works. He's working for the state, 
And what he's doing, he's doing some, like it's a publishing company and they, they help out the wildlife and they mm -hmm. do things for the state like that. And he looks at me and he goes, are you a state representative? I says, well, you just almost knocked the plate off my car. What do you think? So he, he looks at me, and this is the first time. It, he looks at me, he goes, he says, are you all right? He says, you sure you don't want me to take you to the hospital? I says, do I look that bad? Yeah. I said, I'm, I'm fine. Anyway, so that's my illnesses. That's my, my crash. Uh, and now, now, oh, this morning the water heater breaks. So now we've got to get through a water heater. Then I've got to... You know, campaigning, and, and we did a radio TV show last night, which, by the way, uh, we want to talk about that just for a moment because I said this to the people, I said this to Richard, and I've said this to the two people who were there, who you can tell who they were. I said, you're the one who brought it up about having this little, we'll call it a debate or meeting or round table. Dialogue, what happened? All right, dialogue. And it went off, from what I understand, pretty well. And we made the telegraph. Yep. We, we so are, uh, today is Thursday, October 18th. So by the time folks see this, it's going to be a week and a half from now, I'm sure. But we're in the telegraph on page three in a nice article uh, by uh, Dean Schloop. Ah, and Dean. It, and it talks about, we did this uh, forum on question one, and we had. Uh, yeah, question one is. Question one is the tax question. Should the state ban having an income tax or any other tax no, on Put it on income? the Constitution on the Constitution. So it'll require two-thirds to pass, two-thirds of those voting to actually vote for it. Well, we had two very, very good presenters. Kevin Smith, the former gubernatorial candidate, was there. He was for the question to ban income taxes. Uh, we had uh, Representative Chris Serlin there, the Democrat. He was against the question. I thought they were both very, very good. I thought they, they did an excellent job, kind of fleshed the whole thing out, were there for about an hour, an hour and a half, had questions, and good Richard questions cut us came off. up. He just, no, no, I, yeah, I, he, I felt it was. I mean, we, we, no, we felt no, it was time. We were time. supposed to end, but he yeah. came over and cut us off. Well, and he he, he also, got up, and you know what he said? What he said? This is what TV is all about. And my 22 years of doing TV, this is the best. This is this is what we should be doing. Is that correct? That's correct. I and, think he, and boy, I, but I don't it, think that was on the air. Well, no, I, 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 I've always said that Richard is one of the smartest people that I know. He's a Republican. He can't be that bright. Well, I, I, we'll leave it at that. Hey, right. did you know, I'm just going to put this aside for a second because there's some very important well, well, stuff no, here. we finished that. Well, no, I, I, I wanna, did finish it. No, no, no. I want you to hold it up to the camera, okay? This was at this, uh, the plaza. This was at City Hall Auditorium upstairs. Right. We're over to, where are we? Oh, let's see. We're, the, we're right here. I'm, I'm my, with my finger over it. See pair right here? Flesh, pair of flesh out rate tax. In no, 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 I no. can't read it for Income me. tax question stirs others. Well, Forum discusses proposed. That's why you were pointing I was to pointing. It. Okay. <laughs> no, put it up there now. Show, show that Jeez. because this is important. All right. Here we are right here. Okay, there we are. And that's a, it goes on to the other page. Right. Now, so well, let's discuss. You want to discuss a little of what took place or how we feel what well, took place? Well, let's, all right, let's just spend, and then I've got something really important because you were mentioned in a national magazine this month. A national a magazine? A national magazine. A national magazine. A national, a magazine. Can't be good. No, it, it has, it's a magazine with a circulation of at least several million. So, several million. Several million. So we'll okay. talk about, we'll talk about question one and we'll hold off, we'll tease on the National Ladies Magazine. Ladies and gentlemen, if it's several million, I did something wrong again. No, well, it, we, we'll see about that. Um, well, I what, just got over x-rays showing that my back is going to be fine. I don't have cancer of the lungs. Now I'm on a International million. Magazine. International Magazine. You, you, are, you are Ken Gidge, Representative Ken Gidge. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up like this? Well... Okay, uh, well, let, let us talk about uh, question one. Question, question one, one is... Question one, as, as we said, was the uh, question on whether to put in the Constitution a ban on having any income tax or increased taxes or new taxes on income. I agree, disagree with it. You disagree with putting it in the Constitution? I disagree. Look, I don't know anyone who wants it. Somebody said they knew two people last night, which... Well, one of them was Chris. Chris wants a. An well, tax. he doesn't want it. He wants it. He wants it to be available. I don't want an income tax. Nobody wants an income tax. 
absolutely nobody wants an income tax. So the Republican Party wastes a whole year pushing this. So we'll put it on the Constitution stating that New Hampshire can never, ever, ever have an income tax. Now, on the level, that sounds great. That's honestly, I mean, it's like babies and puppies. You don't want to hurt a babies or puppies, right? Okay, so, so the income tax. So I say, excuse me, and I held up last night, I held up the, the, what the, the bill was and the writing of the bills, and I pointed to a couple lines, and I said, you know, I'm in commerce, which is banking and insurance, mm -hmm. And what we do is we really read the fine print. You know the fine print that you, everybody goes, it drives me nuts? Yeah. Well, that's what we do. And so I looked at the fine print on this, and I said, you know, several of these lines can be interpreted several different ways, which may open, by putting something into the Constitution, may open a little space where people who really want to get crazy and stop things like, a tax on, I don't know, elephants or something, something foolish that should be a tax on. So anyway, you got anything else to say about it? Yeah, you know, it's interesting that uh, you, you speak of an, a, a tax on elephants. Uh, I was, I'm really surprised to hear that the Democratic Party wants to go out of their way to tax Republicans. And I really think that this is a tax great Tax Republicans? Well, elephants. Well, the elephants. Yeah, yeah, elephants are representative no, of Republicans. actually it is to take away the elephant what have you got against elephants? Well, why why are you, you know, biased? It's, it's bad enough. Is this that, a racist no, thing? No, no, no. It's bad enough that You're biased. the elephant face. But go behind the elephant. We got to pick up what you guys leave behind. There should be a tax on you, the elephant. Well, the thing is that, that elephants have the means for cleaning up after themselves. What the hell do you think the trunk's all about? Oh, put it in the trunk? No. That's, that's, put that's, it in the trunk. That's J-Lo. Cleaning she's got, she's up after itself. Well, you know, fire hose kind of thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I should have figured that you had something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, look, anytime you open the Constitution, it, it, it's got to be for something more, far more important than this. Uh, down, we don't know. The, 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 the taxes on, on property are so high here in the mm -hmm. state. We have had, in committees, we've had people crying that they had to lose their homes because of the high high uh, income, uh, taxes on, on their properties, you know, it may get to a point where something is absolutely needed. A sales tax is an absolute never. As far as an income tax goes, that's a never. But I think we should leave this up. Since nobody wants it except the Republicans want that and a voter ID bill, which makes no sense, but okay, if they want to waste two years of doing that for what, 10 people in 10 years in New Hampshire? Okay, that's a waste. But if you want to do that, that's fine. But to, to, to open up the Constitution and then leave parts of it that are, can be interpreted in several different ways is not good. And if you wanted to put it in the Constitution, I say you should have done, it should have been done better than this. And the two-thirds, you know, you say two-thirds. But remember, people, there's 297 Republicans and there is 103 Democrats. That's a super majority. You can do what you want. And during rough times as we're in right now, people do really foolish thing, I, things, and I just think it's one of them. Well, I'll tell you, I think uh, here's, here's my guess. I think what's going to happen is uh, the question is going to get about 50% uh, yes. Maybe, maybe just over 50%, but it's not going to come anywhere close to 66%. Okay. And uh, what do you think? Do you think? Well, I hope, it's, I hope it gets a lot less than that. I mean, I, I hope it gets a lot less than 50% of the people vote for it because it, what this means is this will stop and hopefully the Republicans, if they are the majority, again, will get something done. Well, I mean, because it's awful. And by the way, we've talked about, you guys did a lot of cutting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Republicans, and not just David, I mean, the Republicans in general, have cut a lot, and now it's coming this way back to Nashua. A lot of people went up there and forgot where they're from. I'm from Ward 6. I'll you never are, forget you are, where I'm from. You, you are from Ward and 6. And I pay property tax, mm -hmm. and I must pay what we take up, cut up there, we must pay back here. So, so what, what, what should uh, the Republicans 
not have cut? How much? How much money should they have left? Should I give it? Should I give you an? Oh, example? give me. You know what? Five hundred million. No, should I give you an example? No, no, five hundred million. No, no, do do wanna, dollar no, amounts. you want to go by. You want to go by money. No, it, I want to. I want how much? Well, how much money should I we have left in there? I think what the Republicans should have done instead of doing all these cuts that were necessary, supposedly. You mean I because think, there wasn't any money to pay for anything more than well, we had? Well, you know, you you guys. Where's keep, the money coming you from? You guys Ken? keep saying that, but you know what you forget? It's it's just what I said. What happens is we're paying for it down here. Where's the money coming from, Ken? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We got more businesses it's coming. It's coming into out of your state. pocket. Is where it's coming from. It's coming out of everybody's pocket. If we had spent the way we'd spent in the two bienniums before this current biennium, we would have to have an what income tax just to make on. We were spending it on all sorts of things, whether or not they were good. Some of them were, some of them weren't. But the fact is, Ken, oh, no, if, you're, no, no, no. if you what, have what, a budget, what, what did you, you have take to money live, away You from? have to live within your money budget. Money away from Meals on Wheels? That's our issue right, right here. What should we have taken it away What should we have taken it away What should we have taken it away from, Ken? What should we have taken it away from? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot. What should we have taken it away from? What should we have taken it away from, Ken? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're Meals on Wheels and you're not going to get it for five days, that's Romney. That's 47%. You are useless in his mind. You are, I, you, no, you, you take, know what? You don't give. Do you want it? You know what this is? This is Ken Gidge voodoo economics. Was it George Bush who talked about? Oh no, it was. Ooh, no, uh, no, it was, was Bush Ronald who Reagan. said that about Ronald Reagan. There we go, voodoo economics. Yes. and that's what that's what you're coming up with. Oh, voodoo. Let's see, saving people's lives. I wonder. Where's the money coming from, right. Ken? Would Where's you, the money? Well, Where's this money coming I from? I will tell you if you'll just. I've been asking you for the last two minutes. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as maybe you know, uh, I was asked to be on a committee to study the Liquor Commission. The Liquor Commission is a $600 million a year company. That's our money coming in. Okay? The Republicans. Now, think there are great problems. And by the way, it's up 14.5%. There's a possibility. This year, mm -hmm. we'll make more in liquor, okay, in spirits, all right, than we have ever made in one year. Well, so you, several so reasons why. Appropriate time of the year for people, spirits. People coming, no, up for holidays, etc. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of the reasons. Right. But by how they've built new stores and how they've set it up, this is a big, big thing for New Hampshire, mm -hmm. and we shouldn't screw with it. Okay, you don't screw with something what, that's working. Well, what are, you, what are you doing screwing around with this? Well, this is what I'm saying. We, they brought it in, and there's some problems. I'm not screwing around no, with no, this. No, yeah, you will vote for it if they, if they put bills in, won't you? No, I, I, I'll vote for the best, the best way I can. Uh, I don't well, know what it is. You're a Republican. You've got to vote for Republicans, no, and they'll throw you out of your committees. Gotta... Let me finish. You asked where the money was coming from, and let me tell you where the well, money is coming from. Good it Lord, you're going things... around and around. And well, excuse me. $600 million. Get you said $500 million. $600 million is a lot of money. That's... A good point. You want to know where it's, it's coming from. But it's already so. What do they the want budget? to do? So what do they want to do? Guess what they want to do? They want to cut it up. They want to separate it. They want to divide things. They want to tell them how to run a business. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what the Republicans want to do, and it drives me crazy that I have to sit there and say, "Look, guys, you know how to write a bill. You know how to get it passed." But there's not one sitting at this table who understands a $600 million a year company. And they're trying to tell them how to put wine in their stores. They, they should not open stores in malls because people from the outside can't see them. But you go to Merrimack, there's a store right next to what? A grocery store. Mm -hmm. So you want to know where the money comes from? Fine. You guys are taking it away. Now you guys are going to screw this up. That's a lot of money to screw I'm not, up. I'm not going to screw anything up. Well, you're going to take my advice. No, what I'm going to what I'm going to yes, do you is are. I, you're you're on you're the one on the committee. You're the one who's dealing with this. Uh, excuse me, how many on the committee or Democrat? I have no idea. Three, three out of how many? Nine. On it. Okay. 
Well, that's not three, bad. Out, three, out, three out of 12. That, that's, isn't it three out of 12? Three, three out of 13? Sorry, I'm sorry. All we, right. we got two guys out. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One guy broke and his arm. Was, wasn't he there, broke his arm and he didn't know. And he's did, a Democrat. Didn't, didn't, you, didn't you trade for a player to be named later or something like that? Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. no. We, this, this is so important. They got people in the sidelines oh. waiting, Democrats for Republicans. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm going to move on to something really okay. important. All right. Magazine, you multi-million issue magazine per month. You by name, are mentioned. By name. You want to know the name of the magazine? Yes. The American Rifleman. Ken Gidge is mentioned in the American Rifleman, and I am going to show you exactly what they say. This is the edition which tells one who to vote for. And right in the middle, there is an insert. The election of 2012 for the state of New Hampshire and let's see, Hillsborough. What is you, what are you what are you district in Hillsborough? Hillsborough what? Twenty I don't know. What's twenty three, but we moved it around. Oh, is it twenty four? Let's see. I, I just I had you here a minute ago. Who's who are the good people uh, in your district? Is it Michael Balboni? No. It's uh, David Murataki? No. I can't find you here, Ken. We good would be uh, person is right. Oh, here we go. Campbell. Here we go. Campbell. Hillsborough, District thirty three. They rate everybody according to NRA scores, and the people who get A's or A minuses are all in red. Michael Buxton's a Republican; he's in red. Uh, Greg Serby is in red, and what they do is, if you don't don't have a track record, they rate you on your uh, uh, answers to things. Now, David Campbell is a D. A D. A D from the NRA. A D. Bad David. Ken Gidge is a... I'm an A? No. What? Is a... A. No. What? B. I'm a B? You're a B. I, of course... I've got to own a gun and be an A, I think. I, of course, <laughs> am an A-. minus. You're an A-. minus. I'm an A-. minus. So, so you see... And you I'm, own a gun. I, I, and you more, carry guns on you. You've been in here carrying guns. I'm not going to answer that question. I know that. Um, I, so I got an A? You got a B. A B. A B. But I have an A-. minus. So obviously... I am a better protector of the Second Amendment than Ken is, and I think you should vote for me just on that. Excuse me, and that is mostly for Republicans. No, this is for everybody. Well, I understand that, but basically in there, it's a Republican magazine, is it not? No, this is, this is just at, you know, people who are rated on certain things. Do you think that's going to get me any votes? Absolutely. That will? The fact that you're a B means you're okay. I mean, you're not... You're not one excuse of those uh, left-wing weenies. A, a B is is pretty good. A B is pretty it's a good. Three point something. Three point oh. Three point oh. Three point oh. Okay. Right. All right. And you're what? A four I'm, point oh. I'm three point six seven. Three point six seven. Yes. So you're eight, six with, seven more than me. That's right. Okay. Two thirds, isn't that? Two thirds. I don't know. So I like six seven. All right. So that I, I like six but, seven. But you know, it's kind of neat. Here you are mentioned in a national mag. We both are national magazine. Oh, except for the defeat, Obama. Oh yeah, this is yeah. The, this is the uh, and of course of course Democrats don't own guns. Of course Democrat Democrats don't own guns. No, but you know what? You can, you can have this gun if you want. I'll get it for you. Isn't you that will. nice? You gonna buy me one? I will. Yes, a pair of Super Thirty Eights. Does do they work? The I think plastic. so. No, no. These 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 are the real thing. Okay, how much? Uh, this this is probably uh, five six hundred bucks. Five a pop. to six hundred dollars. Yeah. So sell a painting. Get what? Sell a painting. A, oh, a, a painting. Plenty, plenty of money. Well, Talk. why don't you buy a painting? I tried to. I've talked you, to you about you buying buy paintings. Painting. I have guy, talked to you about you buying know, paintings for guys, weeks. Uh, you know, they make all this money. They, they, they don't feel bad for the guy who got sick right. and hit by a car and all that. And then, you know, I've got to go up there and try to defend $600 million. Why? You know what somebody said to me? What? This is what they said. This, this person said to me about a politician. A politician goes into a room where there's a buffet, and he or she will eat even if they're not hungry. They can't so, not... Sort of, sort of like a dog. No, they, they can't not do anything. In other words, if something is working, and you put them in a room, and it's 14% potentially $40 million compared to the $20 million last year making on spirits, okay? They've got to do something to do better. And guess what? Doing nothing is the thing to do. Well, you know, if that's the case, we ought to just turn out the lights and camera and go home.
Well, no. What, what talk, you're talking about money. So oh, what do you got there? All right. Well, you know, now we seg from the NRA. Uh, the uh, NRA president, David Keene, is coming to the London Dairy Fish and Game Club tomorrow. This is Friday. Unfortunately, it'll already have passed. I would like to invite you to come with me uh, to meet him. It's absolutely free. Beverages and snacks will be provided. And, and who knows, maybe they'll let you fondle a gun. Fondle a gun. Fondle a gun. Well, Dave, I, I probably would, but I got to go get some more cards. I've been passing out so much literature. I got to really? go up and get them there in Manchester. You. And besides that, honestly, I still do have a headache. Well, so I, 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 but, you yeah. know, this, this, is, this is certainly, uh, you'd meet some people, and Charlie Bass is going to be there, Frank Oh, Yunta, that's exciting. And Ovid's going to be there, I oh, think. Oh, that's really exciting. Uh, you Ovid. know, I'm sure, I'm sure they, they, yeah. they would love how to have I, you. How can a person be so goofy? This uh, guy is goofy. He okay. really is goofy. Are we, are we talking about the next governor? Ovid. I don't care if he's the next governor or not. He's goofy. He's a goofy guy. Have you ever seen John Lynch speak? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, and, and I'm trying to be serious. Well, I can't be serious. You can't be, but, be, be what do you mean be serious for <laughs> what? You're holding a little, you're holding a yellow bird and I've got a, you know, a rubber chicken. I yeah, mean, my bird's bigger than you know, your what's good, what's, bird. What's, my bird's bigger yeah, than I, yours. What's good about this is, as people think, <laughs> as people think we make it serious with one another and mad, look, right? And then we got... Socrates, Socrates right here. That's right. I mean, you can't get another. And then we got. Wait, let's hold up your sign. Then oh, we're, all right. Then, then, then we're, we're running again. Oh, wait a minute. Wait yeah, a minute. Come on. Right, here, here we go. Oh, oh, we're running again. We're I'm running Ward again. six. You're Ward. Ward nine. Ward nine. Ward nine. Okay. And by the way, uh, we do. We are going to. We are going to take a break. Let's. Go, I want to go another five minutes. All right. Another let's five minutes another is fine. Five minutes because. But to, to right. what you were talking about, you know, we're not. I mean, we're playing around. But when you and I get into it, we're not play acting. I was about ready to come over and rip your throat out five minutes ago. Well, that's right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's I should. I've got yeah. my rubber chicken. Here. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, you bigger. know, it, it's we we get under each other's skin, it, and thankfully we've I developed a way to. Yeah, I can't take you serious. You're sitting there holding a yellow bird, okay, and and then you're looking at me, and I got to. Uh, you you can't be serious. Well, does that mean? That and then we're, Socrates, I mean, come on, good old Socrates here. You know, this this is we I, miss I really we, we wisdom. wisdom wisdom my wisdom. friend wisdom. All right, so I think Ovid is goofy. So well, tell yeah, me but, something but good don't about don't you think you think about the way John Lynch speaks sometimes, and he moves his head, and he's, he's kind of going like this, and I mean the guy is a consummate politician. He could be governor for life, but there's a there's a certain amount of goofiness. And you don't want to know why he can be governor for not for life? Because you get just enough goofiness. How why? No, because there's equal amount of Republicans. And Democrats who dislike him, <laughs> so he can't lose. He can't lose. I mean, he did it. That's the secret. Yep, he, he did it. And he, I don't mean not like him. I mean, he up. He gets us cringes us sometimes. But then you know he's happy with the Republicans. And he's very good and a nice guy too. I mean, yeah. he's just one of those. Oh, by the way, didn't we talk about where we think he's going? Well, you have mentioned something that you have speculated on. Speculated. Speculated. Where I think he's that's going. That's sort of like spitting, isn't it? No. Oh, okay. No, that's spittling. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Okay. I think he's going to be president of Dartmouth College. Does the current president of Dartmouth know that? He's gone. Really? Yes, he's in the he's in the administration now. The Obama. He might want his old job. Yeah, back, he might. He right? might. He might want his. his no, his but uh, no, I think Governor Lynch. That'd be perfect. Well, I, I think that... Uh, because you, his wife is a doctor and she's up right. that way. She's up there. And there is a great history, at least in Massachusetts, of politicians becoming presidents of uh, universities, like Billy Bulger became president of the uh, University of Massachusetts system about 10, 12 years ago, chancellor. And uh, Marty Meehan, uh, president of UMass Lowell, and uh, some other people, president of the community colleges. So he would be, he'd fit right in. Well, you know, it's interesting... Uh, we do have a shelf life, people in politics. Uh, you have about five minutes. You know, I, I like, we got an argument last night. I got an argument last night, called the guy a politician. He said, no, I'm a statesman. I said, we'll use that. Uh, but there are some people who really, guess what, know what we go through. We get paid nothing in New Hampshire, obviously, which is funny. Uh, and it costs us money to do this job. But we do it for, for particular reasons. I don't have any money, but... Uh, well, but 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 the, the idea we do have a shelf life. 
Now, if I, if I, this is my last term, if I got defeated, let's just say, right. it's a possibility. If I got defeated, believe me, I would not be terribly upset. I'd be upset because I'm working hard to get elected. Right. But here is a person with the knowledge of four years of really tough stuff up at the state house in commerce, banking, and insurance, and consumer affairs. Yeah, I mean that's that's quite a one of the busiest committees. Here I am, valuable potentially to somebody, and I'll do nothing. Nobody will go, ring ring Ken. You can become a lobbyist. Well, Lobbyists for what? For for uh, the uh, the groups that come before the committee. You could put on a, a cute little orange badge, and uh, it'd be wonderful. Well, I'll tell you one reason why to to uh, to uh, vote for me. I haven't had anyone in banking and insurance give me a check for for uh, uh, for my campaign. Not even offered. Speaking, not even suggested. Not even suggested. Not even no, suggested. He must be doing a good job. You it's, know, well, it's, it's true. Speaking of campaign contributions, uh, I'll do this real quick. One of the things that I'm doing is I don't take more than fifty dollars from any person, source, party, organization, and what that means is I don't have anybody who even thinks that they have a call on oh, my vote. Oh, that's what a I have bunch of fooey. I've, I've been running around trying to raise some money because this stuff is expensive. But no more than fifty dollars. Nobody has a call on my vote. I don't get any of those five hundred dollar checks why, that some of my uh, why do you, opponents do. I know, but why do you do do that? You're not. Nobody owes. You. Look, because this is I'm a, Mr. Clean. Okay, this is the first year. You know, I'll, think, I'll, think of me without on, you know shaved going head. Going on with my a third term. Right here. Yeah. This is the first time people have offered me money for my campaign. This is the first. So. I, no, I'm beholding to nobody. It's I did work for particular organizations who feel that I can keep working for them. I didn't work for them because anybody paid me. I worked for them because I believe in it. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons probably why the insurance company and the banking industry would rather get rid of me because I don't want these things taking place. And, and one other thing, we're going to get into this. I know we got about a, a couple minutes before we, we got to get out. But, you know, I... You do know that they're rewriting the entire, uh, the entire laws for, uh, uh, oh God, uh, uh, not banking and insurance, uh, uh, corporate laws, and they bring them into our, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. and they bring them in, and it's like this. Okay, let's pass it, get it on. Well, we want what is called a side-by-side, -side, meaning here's the old one, here's the new one, turn the pages. This is what you're changing. This is what you're doing. Well, they didn't do that. So I took what I had to somebody, and they said, you want to know something they didn't put in there? They were taking rights away from those who invest into these companies and these corporate companies. Mm -hmm. And we caught that, and we held that up for a year. So just that alone, uh, and I wasn't the only one. I was the one who found it. Well, I should say I found the people who found it. But we... we we charge that stuff. So we do a lot, and I don't think people really realize. So we got about uh, probably about two more minutes, and we're going to have a guest. Who are we going to have? We're going to after the break. We're going to have a guest, <laughs> and uh, but let let's hold off on naming our guest, our mystery guest, until after. What a mystery guest! It's a mystery guest. This is she's not a mystery. She is a mystery guest. Cause okay, and what is her job? She is a uh, a member of the law enforcement community. She is. She is. She could arrest you? Absolutely. She could arrest you. She could arrest you. She wow, could probably I've... even arrest Socrates. All right, okay. All right, so she's a cop. No. She's not, then how can she arrest me? Well, I, she's a, she's a, you a, a member of the attorneys. Know. No, she could, you she don't could have. Know. Well, maybe she could have us arrested. All she right. could certainly prosecute us. <clears throat> okay, so anyway. Uh, She'll be coming in, so we'll talk about her, and we will not talk about us. But why don't we just give ourselves a plug? You want to say a few things? Because yes, I, uh, my buddy Big Bird endorses me. Uh, my name's Dave Robbins. Uh, you can reach me, 978-500-9475, or at davidsrobbins, uh, dot, uh, at comcast, at comcast.net. Love to hear from you. And uh, Ken, 
Yeah. Well, uh, as you know, you can hold your sign up oh, also. Oh. Okay. All right. No. Uh, we are both. Uh, I am a Republic, uh, Democrat. I'm a Republican. I'm a He's Democrat. a Republican. I'm That's thinking what he is. about yes. this Republican magazine I was in. All right. Uh, I am a Democrat. He's a Republican. We're the only people who do shows like this. I think this is really important. Mm -hmm. I know it drives people crazy, and I know we have. Isn't it wonderful? Well, it's wonderful, but we we've invited a lot of people to come on. They don't want to come on because they don't want to be with a Republican. They don't want to be with a Democrat. But anyway, I have a website called Gidge World, and that means it's an art website. You can, so Gage World, I'm on Facebook, so just look me up on Facebook, or let me give you a phone number, 603-864-9332, or KG at, at what? KG, Gage World? K or AOL? No, wait, it's K, K, K Gidge, excuse me, K Gidge at AOL.com. What am I thinking about? So it's kgidge at AOL.com. And I'm losing it because I got a fever because I got hit by from behind. I'm a little dizzy. My brain went like that. So we'll, when we come back, we're going to have our guest. Cool. All right. All right. So right. remember, Take wait, a minute, care. Wait, a minute, wait a minute, remember, if you vote for Romney, this is what you get. Uh, Don't vote chicken. for Romney. Vote for Mitt, a chicken in All every right. pot. See you later. Come on. Take come care. On. Let's go. Oh, All let's right. go. Okay. All right.